Hi, TechnoBear here. Today I'm going to show you the DJI FPV, a new drone that can allow you to fly using the goggles. Now I'm a complete newbie to this, so the idea is I would actually have a series of videos where I show you going me from complete beginner all the way up to well, something that's less beginner really. Um, it's going to take a number of videos because uh, I want to take it slowly and I want to show you the steps that I actually go through. Today it's just going to be about getting accustomed to the goggles and basically to see how I feel. So I'm going to use it sitting down. Um, so all we need to do is to start the drone up, which makes a very cool sound. And off we go. Okay, so ready to go. I have to say I'm a bit nervous because I've never flown FPV before and I don't quite know what that's going to do. Um, it's a bit strange because I have flown a Mavic Air before so it's in this normal mode it's going to be reacting similar but even so it's a bit scary. Oh well let's give it a go. Let's take off first where I can see it. Now what I'm going to do initially is just wait for it to just see that it's doing what I kind of expect it to do. Yeah, okay, that's uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty common to what it does usually. So let's now see what it looks like in the cockles. Okay. Okay, let's yeah, so go. Okay, it's Wow. Okay, that's already really kind of interesting. The image through the goggles is fantastic. It's... Oh yeah, I can now see where my home point is. It's quite bright in the sun, so I'm going to probably get some... Oh wow, well, okay, okay, now I could... It is... I can see that initially... Oh yeah, yeah, I can get the bit disorienting. I'd not say I'm feeling motion sick, but it definitely it's kind of a strange feel. I think it's probably one of those things you kind of get used to. Um, I wouldn't say I'm quite glad I'm sitting down, but I think that'd probably be okay, generally. For some reason, as soon as I start heading towards myself, I feel really bizarre. quite funny listening to it going overhead. So I just want to really just get a bit of a, a feel for it today. Um, so I'm just flying around in normal mode. Let's go down a bit. I mean this is the thing that I really am interested in with FPV. The problem I have with flying just by looking externally is I have no idea about height. You see here I find it really difficult to judge heights when I'm flying it as like a remote control aircraft which means I have to stay up pretty high. Let's also go around here actually. Yeah I can definitely tell that banking. Okay now I usually get a little bit of signal break up here when I'm flying the Mavic Air which I think is the Wi-Fi from the house, but yeah, no. This is fantastic by comparison. Oh, yeah, I feel already so much more comfortable. One of the problems I have flying here, this is all on my lap, is that you can't really see it very easily, but the, there's gradient everywhere, which means when I'm flying the Mavic Air, I find that I can never quite know where my altitude is and whether I'm going to crash into the ground 
Whereas here I can actually really obviously see where it is. Definitely get, uh, for some reason, in certain directions I seem to get a little bit of dizziness, but I'm sure it'll be something that I can quite, yeah, it's, for some bizarre reason, it seems to be when I go anti-clockwise, I think. And we can just check the, the emergency brake works. There we are. So this is, is the button I really want to get used to pressing is this emergency brake. Because, I mean, in this mode, in normal mode, it's, uh, it's not an issue. You, you can just let go of the controls. But when we get up into higher speed modes and manual mode, then we really want to have a, a kind of an abort function. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I can see I'm going to need to... get used. Now here's, here's an interesting thing. Does it do the... So when we do a turn, usually we would press both the roll and yaw to turn to get a bank, bank turn, but I believe this has an assisted turn. Oh no, this is actually just doing a, a roll actually. So no, okay, so no. That was a, <laughs> a pretty, <laughs> a very dodgy turn. Yeah, I think I'm going to... Uh, I've only actually got one battery uh, because I'm waiting on DJI to send me the fly more pack, but actually that's probably not a bad thing. I could see myself building up a little bit to this in terms of getting used to the, the vision a little bit. Okay, let's switch it into sports mode because we've got plenty of thing here. So this is now sports mode. Okay, we've got plenty of height here, so... Okay, that's considerably faster. I mean, obviously, at the end of the day... Okay, let's, uh, let's put it back into normal mode. Partly because my vision is actually... Unusual. Now, it's quite nice, you've also got a, a gimbal on this, so you can actually tilt the camera down. Which is kind of, kind of weird. Of course, you have to be a bit careful with that, because you can't actually see where you're going if you do that. And you can actually flip it back into, you've got a little rocker that you can actually flick it onto. The setup of it was actually very easy. Um, it basically had to obviously update all its firmware, and which is not pretty normal these days. Uh, it took a while to, to do the batteries. Funnily enough, the goggle batteries was actually, is actually the one that's taken the longest to uh, charge. I didn't even actually get that to really be a hundred percent. Well, now I, c I can feel myself kind of tilting my head, which I, I want to try to avoid doing. And so we've we've been we've been flying for seven minutes or so, I think, according to according to this. What's it saying? It's saying. Um, I'm still trying to work out the head-up display a little bit. I think it's saying I'm on 52% battery. And I've got... Oh, it says eight minutes. Okay, now, admittedly, I'm only going cruising around gently in normal mode. Um, so perhaps... I mean, if that's 15 minutes, that's, that's pretty good going. Um, however, I've noticed this with the Mavic Air. I mean, as soon as you put it into sports mode, I mean, that really does start going down but I think because this is so involving I think 10 minutes would be quite a reasonable time <laughs> and then I could take a break and then when I get the other batteries I could actually just plonk another set of batteries in the image quality is fantastic um, I mean I have a Mavic Air 1, so that used Wi-Fi rather than OcuSync. Um, but that's... It's quite funny, actually, of course, I, 
I think the goggles have uh, fans in them, not home as well as the... I meant to record the goggles. I did put an SD card in it, but I forgot to turn it on. I only got it recording on the aircraft at the moment. Um, it'll be interesting. I, I got a funny feeling I can see the fact that the goggles aren't stabilising the image, I think. Um, I'm trying to work out. Okay, so we're at 30. Okay, there's. Let's see if I do more bank turns. I'm trying to say one of my main goals here actually today is more getting used to the the goggles than anything else. Getting used to it turning round on me, uh, getting a feeling for if I'm going to have any issues with things like breakup of signals. I mean, because, uh, I mean, the general answer to that is no. I'm also getting a lot more GPS satellites than I get with the Mac Air. Usually, uh, with the Mavic Air 1, I usually get about 11, or 11 to 14 satellites, but I've got 19 odd today here. So. Okay, let's do a little bit. <laughs> I'm not used to the height, judging the height yet. Uh, I suddenly was like, how low am I? Also, of course, how much it this goes up and down compared to the Mavic is interesting. Yeah, I'm Okay, so now we've got the return to home. Which I'm going to do because I've been told you shouldn't. I'm going to actually do it manually. Probably if I press the right button. Press the boat button, right? Okay. I'm going to actually land it as I land a Mavic. Land it on the table here. It's moving around a little bit more than the map, it does, fun enough. I think I can land it on the ground actually. Okay, and down she comes. Well, that was fun. Funny, the motion sickness I had, in, the motion sickness I had initially definitely started to give way. Um, I mean, I'm going to obviously put in some more batteries. I'm going to let this one charge up. Um, hopefully, get another flight in today. Um, yeah, I think just taking it a little bit slowly, just to see how. How I feel, but actually, no, I think it'd be okay. Um, I reckon actually, I probably will be all right standing up, but I'll probably keep sitting down for a few times. Anyway, my plan on the videos is to basically to go through the various steps. So what I'm going to do is to actually try to go small steps at a time to actually um, go from normal mode into sports mode, and then finally into uh, manual mode. I'm also going to be using the simulator as well to make sure that I get a better feel for it because I'm not, I don't want to crash this thing. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for it. Bye.